In this video, let's see another numerical problem which was asked in 1994 and 1996, both the years, in a state board examination. And it was based on some miscellaneous concepts of continuity which we have discussed so far. The question says, discuss the continuity of sine mod x. Now had it been sin x, we would have said that yes, sin x is a trigonometric function and trigonometric functions are continuous everywhere, especially sin x and cos x. Yes, it is continuous. Had it been only mod x, I would have said that yes, modulus function is also what kind of a function? It is a continuous function. But it is nothing but only mod x or sin x. It is the composition of both. So how to do this question? Let's see. It is very easy question. Some of you might have actually understood it by far and by now. I write the heading as solution. And I say that actually this function is not one function. It is composition of two. So let me take fx is equal to mod x and let me take gx is equal to sin x. I have named these functions separately so that it becomes easier for us to discuss. Now mod x is what kind of a function? It is a continuous function one thing. The other thing even sin x it is a continuous function. So mod x is continuous, sin x is also continuous. And I say that mod x is what kind of a function? It has both the domain and the range as real numbers. Right? Because you can put anything in mod and you can get always real values for it. Now even sin x is such kind of a function where you can put any real values and you can expect a real value at the answer end. Now these two functions are themselves continuous explicitly. So even their composition is com continuous. We studied this in the properties and the theorems on continuity that if two functions are continuous their composition is also continuous. So similarly since these functions are explicitly continuous we say that their composition is continuous. What is gof? gofx is g of fx and what is g of fx? Simply put fx value what is fx? fx is nothing but mod x so it is g of mod x. That means what? Wherever you have x in g, you have to substitute it by mod x. So wherever you have x, you have after sign, so substitute it by mod x. So you say that since, since the individual functions, since the individual functions are continuous, are continuous, So what will happen? So or hence their composition is also continuous. So that is what we had to do in this question. We have to discuss the continuity of sin mod x. Sin mod x was a composition of two functions sin x and mod x and we said that explicitly these functions are continuous. So their composition is also continuous.